resistant spot welding is the primary manufacturing process to join metallic sheets in industry. On an average day, 7 million spot welds are made in an automobile production line, out of which a minimum of 99.7% welds meet quality standards. That looks convincing, isn't it? Wait, what is 0.3% of 7 million? Oh my god, that's an enormous 20,000 substandard wills for just one production line in a single day. Imagine the total number of such wills created all around the world. A few of those could be in your car too. So, do you think your car is safe? Let me explain. In resistance spot welding process, the metallic pieces to be joined together forms an integral part of an electric circuit as shown in figure 1. On passing electric current and applying an external force, a weld joint is created at the interface. The copper electrodes, shown in figure 2, transfers the current and the force to the work pieces and therefore plays an important role in maintaining the weld quality. But affected by repeated loading, the electrode slowly deforms and the weld quality degrades. To compensate this decay, each and every car manufactured is welded in excess by 30%. The total number of spot welds in a car varies from 4000 to 6000 depending upon its model. The zinc coating, which provides corrosion resistance to steel work pieces, makes things worse for welding. Zinc reacts with copper and because of this reaction, the copper electrodes deform much faster. Annually, 60,000 electrodes are consumed by a busy production line, which means the inconsistency in weld quality is now much higher. This is where my research comes into picture. My focus is on eliminating copper-zinc interaction and thereby extending the electrode life. A promising solution is switching to composite coated electrodes, which is a modified copper electrode with titanium carbide coating on top of it as shown in figure 3. Titanium carbide is wear resistant. It has good thermal stability and most importantly, it does not react with zinc. All these factors combine together to provide the electrode an extended life. With initial experiments, we were able to achieve a three-fold improvement in electrode life. Moving forward, I am pretty sure in achieving much better results. To answer the question, is your car safe? Yes, it is. And most importantly, it is getting safer each and every day, partly because of the work I am doing today. Thank you so much.